Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. In this one, I'm going to be customizing a broken board that I've had for, it must be over a year now. Um, it's just been sitting there and I've been really wanting to um, paint something new onto it. Uh, turn it into multiple pieces of art and yeah so that's what I'm going to be doing in this video. To start off I cut pieces of the wood that I thought was perfect for me to paint on. I decided that three sections of the skateboard, the nose, tail and middle of the deck were fine enough for me to actually paint on because this was a snap deck originally so I decided to just get rid of the snapped parts of the deck and uh, yeah cut it down into pieces that were manageable for me to paint on. Once I cut the deck up, I sanded the area of which I was going to paint on. I then followed that up with a couple of layers of gesso. This allows me to prime the surface so that when I start to paint, it doesn't uh, react weirdly with the original paint layer of the actual skateboard. So I made sure I sanded each layer down after the gesso fully dried. Uh, and then I just added another layer and I re repeated the process about three times before I started painting. Now that the three layers of gesso was fully dry, I could start painting. I always start off my paintings with a light sketch, then I go over the light sketch with a Porsche pen. Uh, the Porsche pens are so good and I recommend it to everyone who is painting or wants to get into painting because um, Porsche pens is something that I used at the very start before I really started to get into painting and they're, they're a really good way to get into it and yeah start to use acrylics basically because it's uh, acrylic based paint that's in the Porsche pens. In the past I've painted a lot of skateboards but for some reason this one was it felt even cooler because it was on a broken skateboard. I love that once I cut it up I there was these shapes that were not kind of in the traditional sense of you know I can get a square canvas. This one I'm, I'm working on the nose and the tail of the skateboard where you know it's uh, the shapes weird so I like doing working on different shapes and it adds something to your work when you're always getting uh, tied down to just working in a square or, or a rectangle. It can get boring, kind of. So just switching it up was like really refreshing to work on a different shape. Um, yeah, so I definitely recommend you, you should try something that is different. Um, and that's always what I do. And that's, I, I always say that in my videos, I'm pretty sure. Just try something new and push yourself to get out of the, your comfort zone. Um, so this was exactly what I was doing. Um, yeah, painting on the these shapes allowed me to refresh my mind pretty much.
Now that I had completed painting the nose and tail of the skateboard, I wanted to use the third piece of the skateboard, the middle section, and also the biggest section of the skateboard, as a way to tie in the narrative. With all my pieces, I always try to create a narrative around it. This allows me to connect with the art that I'm creating. It also allows me to create a story. If you see my art in the past, I've always been attracted to that idea of creating something where the characters are going through something or, you know, something that you could connect to. And I've always been interested and that's probably the reason why I use these characters, these pop culture characters where everyone can, everyone has a connection to them in the past and then they see my work and then, oh, it, it links a different narrative to the story of of who they are as a character. So for example, these two characters, Milhouse and Bart, are in the other two paintings that I've already painted on the nose and tail, they're having a fight pretty much. But the problem with that is that there's no answer to why they're fighting. So in the last piece that I'm doing right now on screen, it shows that, um, oh, maybe they were just uh, playing. To add to that narrative, I've called this piece Meet Outside Moe's at Sunset, which makes you think about, oh, maybe they're being picked up by Homer, who's in the bar, or he's he's just about to, uh, yeah, just pick them up, or Marge, or whatever, their parents, um, and that playtime's over, basically. So, I don't know, maybe that doesn't make sense to you. It makes sense to me, but... Yeah, I don't know. I'm terrible at communicating what the art is, so I always leave it for you to have a think. And uh, yeah, I feel like it's easier that way. So <laughs> yeah, so that's pretty much it, guys. I mean, this this was a really fun project, and I'll definitely do it again if I have any broken boards lying around. Um, yeah, challenge yourself to it if you have a broken board. Um, yeah. <laughs> Alright, see you guys in the next one. Bye.